Yellowstone Volcanic System is known for its ash flow tufts, thick, compressed ash deposits from caldera forming eruptions, but thinner ash beds from these eruptions were also deposited across the western and central USA. In the late 1800s, geologists studying the Great Plains region of the United States puzzled over strange deposits. For example, a white flower-like earth in Nebraska. Although initially thought to be from nearby hot springs, under the microscope, it was determined that these deposits, which could be found across the region, were from volcanic ash that had rained down from some huge prehistoric eruption. Some of the deposits came to be known as the Perlet Volcanic Ash, based on a description of conspicuous silver-gray ash beds sitting atop river and lake sediments near the long-since abandoned Perlet Post Office, about 22 kilometers, 14 miles, north of Meade, Kansas. The deposits like the Perlet Volcanic Ash are important stratigraphic time markers. Volcanic ash is especially useful in stratigraphy because it marks an instantaneous event that can be dated and therefore help with understanding the formation times of various geologic units that lie above and below. For example, the Mazama Ash, from the eruption that formed Crater Lake, Oregon, about 7,600 years ago, is found in cores of sediment from the bottom of Yellowstone Lake and can help to determine the ages of hydrothermal explosions in the Yellowstone region.